Hi, my name is Bob Lindy. I'm an herbalist and an herb grower. Today I'm going to talk to you about plants for a meditation garden. So really it's a personal choice. It's how you choose to arrange your particular meditation garden. Some people like a little bit of color and other people with a very simple green. Some people actually keep something trimmed almost like a bonsai in order to create a particular intentional structure. It's important to find a quiet place that you personally find relaxing. For some people that'll be in the sunshine and others in the shade. I like to oftentimes make mine near water and a lot of times you'll have a path that you slowly walk down to create the right state of mind before you take the moment to meditate. I also find it helpful to burn incense around those plants and I'll oftentimes put some sort of a structure, a meditative figure, a Buddha or a saint, whatever happens to work for your particular belief system. But most important is it's a plant that you find relaxing that gives you meaning for the particular issue. For me, I oftentimes will choose a medicinal plant in order to take my time to meditate for because I think the medicinal plants have a particular power that's important to me as an herbalist. So there's no right or wrong answer on how to make your meditation garden and what plants you choose to put in it. But generally, since we're trying to relax and calm our mind, we don't want it to be too busy. We want it to be fairly organic, somewhat like in nature, but with our own little bit of ideas imbued into it. So this is Bob Lindy talking to you about plants for a meditation garden.